guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you haven't done so yet, please hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you don't know me, hi, my name's Shelby. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Oh, that's a beautiful name. I love that name. As you can see in the title, this isn't a good video. Yeah. But I'm just going to tell you guys this because, um,. I feel like people need to know this in case this happens to them and I don't want anything bad ever happening to you guys so I really hope you take this in, take note from my experience, keep yourself safe. That's like my little warning thing, intro thing. But yeah, let's get into the video. So for some reason I suck and I forgot my phone so Sarah and I had to get off the bus, go back to the mall and get on a different bus but like stupid me it was just in my like bag and everything so that was fine. I didn't like actually lose my phone like how I thought I did but it did put us in this situation and I think it happened for a reason so I can tell you guys this story. So here I am telling you guys this story. So we're waiting for the bus and it's been like a good two minutes because there was like other buses and we had to talk to them, but that doesn't matter. So we're waiting for the bus and then this guy pulls out and I'm already like triggered, you know? And Sarah's like fight mode because Sarah's like, she got that. <laughs> and so the guy's like, do you girls need a ride home kind of thing? It was really gross on how he said it. I'm pretty sure he was like on drugs or something because he was acting really weird. And then I'm like, no. And Sarah's like, no, we're fine. Thanks. And then I was like, we're just waiting for the bus. Because <laughs> I'm dumb. And so he's like, okay. And then he drives and he does a U-turn and then he comes back. And he's just sitting there smiling. I don't know what's happening, but Sarah can see it because Sarah's taller than me. I'm 4'10". She's like 5'9", I think. And she sees his thingy. He had his pee, pee out. He's shaking his pee, pee at us. And I didn't see it right away. And she's like, oh my god, his thingy's out. And I, I, and I was like, what? And then she's like, it's out. And I'm like, what? So I get up a little bit and I see it. I'm like, what the hell? And then, uh, he's like, and I'm like, ew, and I'm like, ew, yelling at him. And then he, like, turns around, and then I go to Sarah, and Sarah's, like, on this side of me. And I'm like, Sarah, I'm gonna pepper spray him. So I get my pepper spray, and, because I carry pepper spray on my keychain, I really think you guys should do this for safety. Um, this is the pepper spray that I use. Guys, stay safe, boo. And then um, to turn it on or to unlock it, you just turn it to the side. So like that. It's empty now because I used it last night. So I just need to throw this one away and get a new one. Now I'm going to buy one on Amazon when I get paid again. Because I went to Sephora and I spent my money last night on that place. And then we went to Dick's Sporting Goods and I got a whole outfit two outfits because I suck and I have a shopping addiction <laughs> anyways um so that doesn't matter back to the story I have ADD and I'm sorry <laughs> yeah, let me turn this. anyways um so then the guy turns around and comes back and then I get my pepper spray ready and he still has his thingy out and then I unlock it hang on but I'm gonna lock it because I need it locked if I accidentally spray my camera and then I die <laughs> anyways so I unlocked it and then I'm like walking up and he's just sitting there wiggling his thingy still and I'm like hmm and then I spray him and I sprayed his face I sprayed his thingy I sprayed all up in his car and I and it felt like it was like forever when I was spraying him it felt like a good five minutes spraying him but in reality it was like probably like five seconds <sighs> but like I was in shock and I was like I can't believe I'm spraying someone kind of thing and then like this is the first time I've ever sprayed someone this is the first time this has ever happened to me this is everything right now not in a good way though it's in a bad bad way and that's why my brain was like in shock because it's like my body was like fight mode 
you need to fight. So I think when your body goes in shock, I'm pretty sure it's like that fight and flight mode. And then that way, if you get hurt, you don't feel it as much. And I'm pretty sure that's why you go in shock. Um, I think. I watch a lot of scary movies. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what they say. So, um, yeah. So I was spraying him and then he turned his face because I think he, he knew finally that I was like spraying him with pepper spray. And then I think he was trying to get his thingy back in his pants. And then he drove off. And then Sarah and I look at each other and we're like... So I, I, I was like this spraying him, you know. And then I turn around and I look at her and I'm like... Dude, that just happened. And then she's like, I can't believe that just happened. And I was like, I know. I can't believe that just happened kind of thing. And then we were just sitting there for a good minute. And then after like all that happened, we were thinking to ourselves like... What if he came back? What if he had a gun and, like, he was trying to do something? Or, like, what if he tried to, like, actually kidnap us and, like, do bad things to us and then kill us? Or kill us and then do bad things to our dead bodies? Because that's disgusting. You don't want that. That's nasty. And then, um... Yeah, I don't know. That was really messed up. And then I was like, well, what if he was, like, just, like, doing that thing with his thingy and then he was trying to like masturbate his thing a thing to like squirt his juices all up on us because he'd probably be like oh yeah girls females i got them ha 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 i don't know that's disgusting i swear to god i would beat the fuck out of him if that ever happened i'm sorry for my language <laughs> but yeah that was so gross and i really really hope that never happens again i'm really glad that i had pepper spray i only bought pepper spray because one my my first boyfriend bought me pepper spray because he's like you walk around a lot i feel like you need this just to be safe and then i found this one because i watched the youtube vivian and i like her and she was the one that was like you can get this pepper spray keychain and I was like, oh, for sure. Because she, I was watching her what's in my bag or what's in my purse video. And then I saw that. And I was like, oh, I'm going to do that. And it saved my life, probably. I probably saved Sarah and I's life. I'm giving myself credit. <laughs> I'm giving myself too much credit. It's probably, like, not as bad as it was supposed to be. Yeah, that was just disturbing. I'm glad nothing happened to Sarah or me because that would suck. This video was just to be like for me to tell my story and for you to take note back, to be safe, to acknowledge what happened, and to know maybe one day you'll need your pepper spray or your taser or maybe a gun like Sarah. <laughs> she wants a gun. But I just want you guys to be safe. I just want you guys to be safe and don't mess with it because I don't want you getting hurt messing with this stuff if you're too young but like even if you're 13 i would ask your parent or like a guardian if you're allowed to have it especially if you walk around or if you're walking out of the mall and you're walking up to your car and maybe your car is parked far away you don't know if you'll need that taser or yeah the taser or the pepper spray like just be mindful of like what you're gonna do N not like it can happen to anyone and like god forbid but a lot of shit happens to me and then i'm just kind of sharing it to you <sighs> that's the tea <laughs> that's all i gotta say and yeah but please be safe i love you to the moon and back and i'll see you guys in the next video peace